you could see it coming. There's no surprise, it was inevitable. The older whites are just showing so much character, so much class, so much sassiness, that uh, not downgrading the reds by no means. I mean, there's some reds out there that are exceptional. But to my opinion, the, this afternoon, what I've tasted thus far, um, the whites are showing extremely well. If there's one variety that does us proud when it comes to wines that can mature, it is definitely the Chardonnay Blancs. The Chardonnays were also exceptional. It shows to me that we know how to use oak with the fruit and then to let the wines mature for a long time. And some of these wines are maybe ready to drink now, but they will also have a great time to mature a little bit more in the bottle. The acidity tends to soften out, the characteristics of the varietal come through, and we also find on the restaurant floor, people are tending to ask for older Sauvignon Blancs. If you go back a couple of years, the younger the better. So that's, that's something interesting, that's a turn, and it's a turn in the right direction, to my opinion. The Niederberg auction is about premium wines. We tend to buy quite big on the auction. Our focus is on the reds and it hasn't disappointed at all. In fact, it's been magnificent. It's been a lovely afternoon. I'm very happy to see such a variety in styles. And I think the Pinotages and the Cabernet Sauvignons were exceptional. My focus is very much on unique wines. Reds, oh, there's, there's such a variety here. It's so difficult to, um, to pick anything specific, but the one that I've tasted that really does stick out is the uh, Canon Coupe 2001. It, it, it is phenomenal. I see it's item number five, so uh, there's a hint. One of the outstanding wines was the Magnum of Grenache. That is, I think, one of the steals of the auction, and uh, I'll bet my money on that one uh, coming from Frisenhof as one of the great wines of the day. Our Reds, our best wineries, are making absolutely world-class wines. And that's been a very steep learning curve. And I think the curve continues, I'm happy to say, in an upward trajectory. But we shouldn't also forget about how wonderful our sweet wines are, both fortified and unfortified. And um, you know, I hope they get the prices they deserve at this year's auction. What is there better than to talk about our natural sweets and our Noble Aid harvests? What a lineup, I thought, uh, of wines there tonight. I collect dessert wines and sweet wines, so we focus on them. And there are some absolutely magnificent wines available. Of all our wine categories, I think that's the one where you will find the best value for money. They show their age. They are, you know, almost 10 years old, if not older. And they are still fresh, juicy, and beautiful, balanced, and the kind of wines that to me says exactly what Günther Brösel used to say, the sunshine of South Africa in a glass.